What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again. And while benchmarking Darksiders 3, which is a new title on the PC, I found that the frame rate was capped at 60 frames per second. There is a workaround to unlock the frame rate, or, well, turn it up so high that it's effectively unlocked. And we're going to go over how to do that today so you can start getting all the frames your system can push out for Darksiders 3. Stick around. Okie dokie, so to start things off, let's go ahead and get ourselves a frame counter up. I believe we have OCAT installed. OCAT's a great application. It does record as well uh, DX12 performance and Vulkan performance, which is uh, super helpful if you're a tech tuber out there. But let's go ahead and grab Darksiders 3. Up in the top right, you will see the frame rate counter. Okie dokie, so I'm just going to click continue. I'm at the very beginning of the game. I haven't gotten too far into it. We've done a little bit of benchmarking, but not a ton. Now, as you can see here, we are locked at 62 frames per second up there in the top right corner. And it's not changing. Um, if we go into the options and graphics, you'll see that vertical sync is not enabled. So that's not what's preventing us and the frame rate is actually incorrect here right now or the resolution we're on a 1080p monitor but it doesn't really matter uh, what we need to do now is go ahead and unlock our frame rate so i'm going to quit darksiders and i have a notepad here this will be linked in the description below you're just going to want to navigate to this folder so you can just basically in the youtube description copy it open up a file explorer and paste it in. Now if you're having troubles finding your app data folder it might be hidden so if you're actually trying to navigate to app data you can see it's kind of like translucent there so if you want to see that you can go into your folder options search for folder and you should see this option to show hidden files and folders if you click there the option is right under this hidden files and folders. You're just going to want to select the show hidden files, folders, and drives and click apply. At that point, the app data folder will be visible. But like I said, you should be able to just paste straight in uh, and not need to do that step at all if you pull it out of the description. The file we're looking for is going to be this game user settings. Double click that and you will be able to see all of the game settings from here. And so we're going to want to scroll down and take a look at the frame limiter. It's set to zero, which is default, which will lock it to 60. At this point, you can pretty much put it to wherever you want. So if you had a 240 hertz monitor, you could do 240. Easiest thing to do if you're trying to benchmark and see how many frames you can get, just set it to 9999. Control S to save or click File and Save. We will close out of that and then relaunch Darksiders 3. So up in the top right, you can already see that the frame rate has unlocked where we were stuck at 60 or so before. It's way up there at like 400, 500 frames per second in the menus. But really it matters what it is in game. Now this particular system that we have is an RTX 2070 with an i7-8700K, both at stock. And as you guys saw, we were at uh, uh, 1440p, which I don't think we're actually at 1440p. I'm not sure. What we're going to do here, though, is just make sure by popping it to 1080. Yeah, we were at 1080. The game obviously has PC port issues, but uh, this is actually a really smooth experience at 120 frames per second. So we're playing on a 1080p 144 hertz monitor and it is a much, much better, much smoother experience than it was locked at 60 frames per second. Some games that you unlock uh, manually through files like we just did can actually be a little problematic when unlocking and you don't want to do it. Uh, for example, there's also stuff like uh, Dark Souls where when you would unlock it, it would have some uh, durability bugs in your gear and such. Um, and then there have been other games where when you unlock the screen tearing is just so awful and the engine can't handle it. So this one, in my humble opinion, is a great 
uh, one to go ahead and unlock. So I'd highly recommend uh, following those steps and then getting all the sweet frames that you can. This is a, this is a, I'm going to play on this 1080p 144 hertz monitor. That is for sure. So that's going to wrap up how to unlock the frame rate in, of course, Darksiders. So I hope it was super helpful and I hope you're getting all the frames. Let me know what your GPU, CPU, and frame rate in Darksiders 3 is down in the comment section below. I'd be curious to know. We're going to be doing a performance test on it here shortly. So what you'll be seeing coming to the channel is a Darksiders 3 performance analysis. And what we'll do there is see how much e-setting of affects the frame rate so that you can go ahead and get more frames and play the way you want to play because that's what PC is all about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.